Well, the Olympics are over. We're not done talking about them yet, though. I want to touch on uh, a Team USA storyline from these Olympics uh, that I was very invested in. You know, Simone Biles uh, and Caleb Dressel. So, kind of similar. Kind of similar stories for them. Kind of similar vibes heading into the Olympics, right? Uh, Simone Biles was looking to make history, and so was Caleb Dressel. Right? I mean, in different ways, but they were both trying to make history. Simone was trying to become one of the only women ever to win two individual gymnastics all around gold medals in the span of eight years. Right? She won it in 2016. She didn't win it in 2021. Caleb Dressel, he was looking to become one of the very rare, one of the very few athletes to win over 10 Olympic gold medals. He had eight going into the Olympics. Simone Biles lived up to the hype. She completed her comeback story. She had a fantastic Olympics. She did everything that she needed to do. And she made, she took her place in history. Caleb Dressel faltered. Didn't even qualify for the finals in the butterfly event. Fifth place in the 50 meter sprint for freestyle, which is what he's so good at. Caleb Dressel, I hate to toss around the word failed. A disappointing Olympics. Right, and that's okay, right? People have disappointing Olympics. I think there's a lesson to be learned here for Caleb Dressel. There's a lesson to be learned from Simone Biles, which is it's never too late to make a comeback, right? Simone had her failing moment. She had her disappointment moment. That was back in 2021 in Tokyo, right? She had to withdraw from competition in Tokyo. We forget this. She's so good in 2024. She was so dominant this year. She didn't even make it to the finals last time around. She made it like three days. And she had the twisties. And that's a legitimate thing. I'm not trying to throw shade at her at all. It's a legitimate condition. Um, but the fact remains, she had a disappointing Olympics in 2021 in Tokyo. Similar to Caleb Dressel. I mean, they, they were both very emotional about it. Simone was very emotional in Tokyo. Caleb Dressel was crying in Paris. I mean, it's... It's crazy. Look at these athletes. They're like they're larger than life. Especially Caleb, and he's got the he's got the bald eagle on his chest, the tattoo. And you're like, these guys are just so good. They're so talented. They're larger than life. They're they're superhumans. They are. They are pushing the boundaries of what human beings can do. Um, and yet they are still human. They do still face human struggles. Because they're still human. They're not going to be perfect all the time. They're going to fail. They're going to screw up. And I think Caleb Dressel can learn a very important, a very valuable lesson from Simone Biles. Which is that it happens. You're going to have a bad day. You're going to have a bad Olympics. Get up, move on, and prove yourself next time. Caleb Dressel, if he comes back for Los Angeles 28, he has a lot to prove. And he has, he has records, he, he owns world records. He has records that he owns that he wants to defend. He has gold medals that he wants to reclaim. He's still in his athletic prime. He can still come back in 2028 if he wants to, and I think he does want to. And I think he will. And if he learns his lesson, if he learns from Simone Biles, it's okay to fail, you can come back. It's never too late to make a comeback. That is what I think Caleb Dressel should learn, should take with him from Simone Biles. Both star Olympians. Simone, she successfully completed her comeback. I think Caleb wants to as well. 